Ready? My name's Rob Spence, I guess you already know that. <clears throat> they also call me Iborg. Actually, I called me Iborg. <laughs> and other people started doing that. Um, I'm just gonna get my slide going here. That's a prosthetic eye there with the camera. Um, I'm gonna talk to you briefly today about cybernetics in the near future. So, <laughs> I did a film a while ago called Let's All Hate Toronto in 2007. And uh, that's a real sign, by the way, in Hamilton that was around at the time. <laughs> um, if you're not Canadian, you may not realize this, but there's a lot of people in Canada that give Toronto a hard time. It's all in good fun. Uh, the point is, though, that people thought the eye patch was a gag. It wasn't a gag. I had just lost my eye. Uh, so it begs the question, what's a filmmaker to do with a hole in his head? Very simple. Get a camera, a transmitter, a battery. Stick it in there. Get a guy at R rf-links.com, who's a brilliant engineer, to make the gear. And bam, eye Borg. Voila. I'm going to do a very brief demonstration of the eye camera here for you, because why not, right? And let's see, get it going. I use a magnet because an on-off switch is a bit awkward <laughs> when you have an eye. And I'm just gonna take a little shot, whoops, of, wow, look, my eye camera and Bionic Man for some reason are blending. <laughs> but how cool is that? Seems to be a small technical problem there, but. So that's the eye board camera. Great, I'm a filmmaker. You know, I have an, a camera in my head, so I need a film to do. Fortunately, the guys at a video game called Deus Ex gave me a call. That's the protagonist, Adam Jensen. I think I look a bit like him. <laughs> sort of handsome, mysterious, rugged, <laughs> confused. He's also a cyborg, and in the fictional world of Deus Ex, people have, um, have decided in the year 2027 to start cutting off their arms, legs, removing their eyes, all this kind of thing. It's like, wow, that's crazy, right? So they hired me, they commissioned me to do a documentary. I was to go around, do a survey of what's going on now with cybernetics, but also look at the scenario, is this possible by the year 2027? Uh, that's a still from the documentary. That's a fellow who's missing his arm from here. It's called an eye limb. Very advanced, cool stuff. He's holding my eye camera, that's kind of neato. And uh, the way the eye limb works is the way a lot of prosthetics work now. It's with kinetic sensors. So if he flexes a muscle here, sensors realize that he's doing that. He opens the hand, he flexes here, it closes. Most prosthetics now are around 20% functionality or less. So I don't think there's anybody here who's gonna go out tomorrow and chop off their hand and get an eye limb, even though it is extremely cool looking. Uh, because why would you? You have a 100% functionality arm right here. So how do we get to more functionality? Uh, Ariel touched on it. We use our minds. We need neuroprosthetics. Uh, it may be that we jack in directly into the brain. Um, and what that means is when I want to move my hand, I don't flex a muscle here or here or do a, a foot movement, which is what's happening now. You think the arm moves. You grab something, you feel it. And you're like, wow, that's pretty science fiction, right? Well, the technology is out there today. There's people working on it in weird labs right now. There's monkeys who are trapped grabbing bananas with robot arms. This is actually happening. And so, you know, let's think about that for a second. This is an interesting guy that I interviewed. His name's David Johnson. He works at a company called Osser. Osser is the top prosthetic leg company in the world. You can see there, he's got a power knee. It helps push him upstairs, it's very cool. He's also an engineer. I asked him, David, is this possible? Are we gonna start chopping our arms and legs off by the year 2027? Or at least, will the technology be there? And he's like, well, Rob, the technology is already here. The wires, the, prosthet you know, the uh, processors and all this. I was like, really? He's like, it's only our imagination to how to put it all together and to map the brain that's stopping us. I also, on a less mature note, asked him if he could design a leg to smash through a brick wall. <laughs> and he said, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Osur is the company that sponsors this guy. You may have heard of him. His name's Oscar Pistorius. He's the guy that all the able-bodied runners are complaining about, saying, that's not fair. Those cheetah blades that Osur and David and everybody's designing in Iceland give him an unfair advantage. <laughs> so, but here is a scenario. By the year 2027, I could basically drink beer and smoke all year get some turbo 5,000 Osser legs, <laughs> drink a beer and smoke while doing it, and basically get the gold medal. So it has begun. It has begun the idea that maybe his legs are better than yours. Now, I know what you're thinking. Great TED Talk, Rob. Great science fiction. Good for you. That was kind of interesting. But come on. Seriously? I'm going to cut off a perfectly good part of my body? Come on. I'm not going to do that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you, Boo Bork. <laughs> we are already cutting off perfectly good parts of our bodies, especially in Brazil and Hollywood. So we've already taken the plunge. People are doing it just to look better. And if people are doing it just to look better, imagine if you could smash through walls, or have a laser eye, which we, by the way, are designing. I'm not joking. <laughs> it's quite doable. Um, so I would submit to you, yeah, I think that we will. I could be biased. I have a camera in my face. But <laughs> if you want to know more, please go watch the short 12-minute documentary I did uh, at iborgproject.com. Thank you. <laughs>